All right. So now that we've disassembled the uh, LCD assembly, we have uh, we're going to do this again. We're going to do the uh, removal of the of the glass. So here we go. We're going to use my Wagner heat gun. Same thing. Just going to heat it all over. Once again, make sure there's two or three inches away from the heat gun and the screen. Do this for about a minute. And when you start, it's always best to start in an area that's already kind of cracked and lifted up. You don't want to start from the top angle because that could snap the LCD. So you kind of want to start somewhere from the side or an area that has a whole bunch of cracks. And I'll show you in a second that are easier to get off. For example, I'm going to grab it right here. This area that has a whole bunch of cracks. And as you can see, this this area comes off rather easily. But still, nevertheless, you want to be really gentle with it. Because once you crack the LCD, it's cracked, it's gone. There's nothing you can do about it. I don't know if you can you can see that, but the LCD is is parting. It's separating. Yeah. Okay. That's about as much as you're going to get, and then you're going to start heating it again. Okay. And that's the trick about separation. You want, you want to heat it enough so that you get a smooth separation, but at the same time you don't want to heat it so much that you damage the LCD and cause a discoloration. And I'll show you some examples of a discoloration. I don't want to get a chance, but there are some people that have uh, brought in their discolored LCDs and asked me to fix it. Uh, and unfortunately, there's no way to fix that. You have to get a new LCD. So heat it enough to get a good, smooth separation, as you can see right here, but not enough to discolor the LCD. So I'm going to show you a little bit more of this, but once again, I'm not going to film the whole thing because that's just a waste of time. It's literally just this process repeated over and over again. And if you, if you do enough of these, then uh, trust me, after breaking one or two, uh, you're going to be you're gonna get good at it. Uh, just to let you know, uh, it took me like four tries um, just to get the S3 down. And uh, God knows how many LCDs I've cracked. Uh, doing this starting from like the S4 back when the LCDs used to cost over $200 at my price. I cracked two L S4 LCDs back then. Uh, it's just there's no other way. It, you have to practice. Uh, so you have to understand that hey look, um, I'm, you know, everything comes at a cost and everything comes at a risk. And this is uh, definitely no exception. Okay, so again, I'm somehow trying to do this before any customers walk in. So hopefully you're not doing these repairs in a pressure situation like I have to do. And you have uh, ample time to do it. Um, I usually give my customers a 40 minute window. So. Uh, so that's how it's done, okay? Yeah, I'm just going to keep on doing that until all the phone is gone. As you can see, already one third of the phone is removed. It takes a lot of patience. And I think as long as you're patient, it's going to work. And I think the best example is... If you right, are, um, so it took me about 10 minutes, maybe 15 more minutes after I stopped the video. And uh, as you can see, it's uh it's removed now okay and there's still some leftover adhesive and I was, as I was trying to explain earlier the best uh, illustration I can give is if you've ever parked in an area where you're not supposed to park and then the owners of that parking lot put a sticker on your car that says you're not supposed to park here it's one of those stickers that really don't come off for days unless you have that technique and you're patient and you pull it off really slowly then 
you can get it off in 30 minutes. So that's really the kind of patience that you have to have with this repair. Um, you just have to get it off like an inch at a time. So if you're really impatient, then I don't think this repairs for you. Uh, but if you if you have the patience um, to deal with it, then by all means go for it. And as you can see, I'm removing the uh, simply just by using my fingers. I'm removing all the residue, the residue um, adhesive, and then. If you want, you can leave the adhesive here on, on the edge. All right, so <coughs> now we're going to reapply the uh, local adhesive or local glue right here, as you can see. Find that on Amazon. Top off, bottom off, and okay. As you can see, I also added my own adhesive on the corners right here. Uh, because I felt that once you take the adhesive off, yeah, uh, it's kind of weakened, so you know, just get some new adhesive. So here we go. Um, place the home button back here, obviously. Yeah. Let's see. Got our new glass right here. Yeah. All right. So we're going to uh, same thing. Just one line right here. Arrow. Another arrow. So two opposite facing arrows. And a little cross right in between. And that's the shape. That's your go-to shape. And as always, start from the bottom. Only got the wrong screen. That's a white one. So I'm glad I stopped myself. Let me grab the correct color. Okay, there we go. So one more time. Start from the bottom. See that? The glass is making connection with the loka. Just wanna ease your way in. That's the key. Just ease your way in. I promise you, you're not gonna get any bubbles. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that simple. Get your binder holders again. Okay. Just like that. Same thing as earlier. Can get a black light. Black light. And you're going to heat it into the adhesive. Completely. What this is Okay, there we go. Yeah. Just place it under a uh, black light. And it'll spread out. Alright, so as you can see, um, after putting it under the black light uh, for about, about five minutes, that's what we have. Okay, so we're going to squeeze that, all that air out, and then we're going to uh, put it under the, uh, a UV light. Okay, so I'll show you how that works. 
That's the UV light. Okay. Okay. As you can see, I pushed that arrow. Okay. There we go. It's all pushed out now. So. See it like go and it's not the bulbs aren't forming anymore. So we're gonna leave it in there. And then 15 minutes later we'll take it back out.